Hello everyone. So today I'm going to be doing a look for you. I'm not going to be doing this look on myself, however. I have a gorgeous model with us today, and her name is Anjola Adudayo. She is a writer and a poet, and we met at a dinner party. She has this incredible, elegant, ethereal essence about her, and as soon as I met her, I said, Darling, you're gorgeous. You must come on my channel. And I'm very pleased that she did. I'd also like to notify you that on the 27th of August, very soon, I will be working at an event. The event is called Oya Chronicles in conversation with my mother. And the event will be hosted by my dear friend Fumi Oda and artist Ayola Belahon. And Jola will also be at the event and I shall be doing everybody's makeup. So I shall leave a link to where you can get tickets and all the information about the event in the description of this film. Everybody is welcome and I hope to see many of you there. It's an opportunity to meet myself and of course all of us. I'm personally very excited. Within the description of this film, I shall also leave the applicable links to Anjola's social media. And I very much hope you enjoy the look. So I have already applied the base. For foundation, I applied Super Covers foundations in the shade 22 and 5 and created a custom blend suited to Anjola's skin tone. Then I set the entire base through with Ben Nye's Luxury Powder in the shade Banana. Then I am applying MAC Cosmetics Gel Eyeliner fluid line in the shade Dip Down and applying that to the eye as a base with a Zova brush and applying that to the underneath of the eye and connecting the bottom and the top together. Then I am going in with a MAC 217 brush and blending our edges to ensure seamlessness and taking an Inglot pencil brush I am just blending what we applied underneath ensuring our edges remain soft and taking that product into the inner corner and with the same brush used to apply the product I'm building up color intensity at the outer corners. Building up in layers. By applying product and building it up in layers, you will create seamlessness. And going back in with our blending brush to ensure seamlessness and no harshness. And applying the same steps to the other eye. Then on a MAC 217, I am applying MAC Cosmetics eyeshadow in the shade espresso and I am applying that mainly at the outer and upper corners using our pencil brush and taking a clean blending brush and blending that color into our socket. Then I am applying on a MAC 217 MAC Cosmetics eyeshadow in the shade Swiss Chocolate and coating the entire eyelid then blending the edges through and I am blending through what I have applied with a clean Zova blending brush. Then I am applying on a Zova 227 brush MAC Cosmetics eyeshadow in the shade Red Brick and washing that colour through the eye, mainly through the socket and blurring it out as we get to the brow bone. And I am just blending that through in swirling motions and blending the colour upward and outward, slightly into the temples. Then I am taking a Lamascus powder eyeshadow in the shade Vapor on our previous Zova 227 brush. And I am applying that mainly to the center of the eyelid, just to warm up the eye. Building that up in the eyelid and packing that color on mainly near the crease. Then I am applying on a MAC 239 brush this beautiful deep golden eyeshadow by Shuomura in the shade 875. And because I am applying this to the eyes dry, I am holding a tissue just underneath to prevent fall down. When working with pressed metallic or shimmer eyeshadows, it is better to build up gradually. Completing the same steps on the other eye. Then I am applying MAC Cosmetics Eyeliner Pencil in the shade Teddy. And really working that into the lash line and also taking it into the socket slightly. And really smudging it into the roots of the lashes. And this colour is very similar to the eyeshadow, yet has a slightly burgundy undertone. Then applying it to the lower lash line, working it into the lashes and right into the inner corner to give the eye greater definition and working in small strokes. And with the kind of eyes that Anjola has, you can really get away with applying quite a lot of product to the lower lash line and quite far down. Then taking a Zova pencil brush, smoking and smudging what we have applied. Then I am taking Inglot's Gel Eyeliner in the shade 77, which is a beautiful jet black shade, and applying that on a Laura Mercier eyeliner brush, and applying that to the waterline first of all, and smoking it slightly into the lower lashes, and really smudging it on the underneath of the eye, to give us greater depth and definition, yet remaining seamless. Then applying that to the upper waterline, 
Then I am applying that to the upper lash line. And I am really smudging that into the outer corner of the eye. Then taking a Charles Fox pencil brush and smoking the remainder of the gel eyeliner into the socket. When blending out gel formulations, you do have to work quite quickly as they are fast drying. Then taking a clean blending brush and blending all edges. Going back in with our eyeliner brush and building up intensity and winging it upward slightly. Then smoking it out, mainly on the upper lash line. And continue to blend the colour into the socket ever so slightly, blurring and blending it in in small amounts, so that we have a gradual seamless blend. And going back in with the same brush that we used to apply our Shuamura eyeshadow in the shade 875, then I am applying a very faint amount of that gold into the socket to ensure its seamlessness. Then I am applying on a MAC Cosmetics pencil brush this beautiful gold eyeshadow by Shuamura in the shade 862. And I am just applying that from the upper inner corner into the socket. This just lifts the inner corners and adds a beautiful essence of light, enhancing the eyes. Then I am applying on a clean crown pencil brush, the 875, the eyeshadow that we applied to the eyelids, to the lower lash line and the underneath of the eye, and blending that in to ensure no harsh edges. Then I am applying mascara, my trusted favourite, the Balm's What's Your Type mascara in the shade Black. Then I am applying that to the upper lashes with a MAC Cosmetics lash brush and really working it into the root of the lashes. Then taking a clean disposable mascara wand and brushing out any excess. Then I am coating the lower lashes in a rather thick coat, really working it into the root of the lashes. I believe one should not be frugal with mascara. And applying a second coat, concentrating mainly at the outer corners and following the same steps on the lower lashes. Then I am applying a set of corner lashes with duo adhesive and just placing them on the outer corner of the eye and getting them into position. Then applying a second set to give us additional volume and definition. And going back in with our Teddy eyeliner pencil just to connect everything together. Adding greater depth to the eye whilst the eyelash glue dries. And then on a crown pointed blush brush I'm taking the darkest contouring matte shade from this sleek face form palette in the shade medium and sculpting Anjola's fantastic bone structure. Then to create greater depth, I'm applying on the same brush MAC Cosmetics eyeshadow in the shade Espresso as a contour and really buffing that into the skin. I am no fan of harsh contours as I want our contours to appear seamless and applying that to the outside of the eyes and into the temples, elongating our look. And to ensure seamlessness, I am applying a slight bit of loose powder. Then I am applying this beautiful orange blusher in the shade Lantern and this colour is from the Blush by 3 Pumpkin Palette by Sleek Makeup. And I am layering this colour on the apples of the cheeks using a MAC 116 brush and merging it into the contour that we have already applied. For highlighter, I am applying this Radiance Baked Body Bronzer by Laura Mercier on the same brush for which we use to apply the blush. And I am applying that to the apples of the cheek and onto the cheekbone. And highlighting through the face with that, applying a little bit of it to the forehead, the centre of the face, the chin, the lips. Then taking a Zova pointed brush and applying that just midway down the nose and a slight amount of it on the tip. A tiny amount on the cupid bow and highlighting the top of the lips and muting all of that through by applying a tiny bit of loose purge to the skin, reducing any unwanted shine. Then I am taking the Balm's Mary Luminizer on a Charles Fox brush and applying a tiny amount of it to the cheeks. And with a MAC 217, I am applying the same orange shade that we used for blush to warm up the brow area. Then on a MAC 263, I am applying Brun eyeshadow through the eyebrows, enhancing the shape of Anjola's very rounded eyebrows. Then taking some brow set by MAC and applying that to the eyebrows. 
and beginning to line the lips with MAC Cosmetics Lip Liner in the shade Mahogany. And really working the pencil into the lip. Filling in the lip completely. Then from the MAC Cosmetics Pro Conceal and Correct Palette Dark and taking the shade NC45 and really working that product into the lip and really merging it into that mahogany lip liner. Then I am applying MAC Cosmetics lipstick in the shade Jubilee on top of that and on top of that I am dabbing on the Balm's lipstick in the shade My Bills Be Paid. And just dabbing that into the center of the lips, highlighting and brightening the lips. And taking both highlighters from before and layering them upon the neck, adding additional glow to the skin. This look was really designed around Anjola, and I think Anjola carries it very well. It is a very refined, enhancing, Elegant, yet dramatic, bold, and strong look. It really encapsulates Anjola's essence. So that more or less completes the look. I think you look absolutely marvellous. And thank you very much for coming today. Oh, thank you, John. I love the look. I'm very glad. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.